that's tricky. So that's a difficult. I mean, it's a there's a difficult solution to that. There's no there's no one solution to a, a, um, emergency accommodation. Um, clients will come to us before they've registered with um, ISS, who who do provide, um, a, as you probably know, a, currently twelve hundred dollars a month for a single person for accommodation. Uh, but in that period between ISS being able to assess the client and um, and agree to, to, to accommodation monies. Um, the client will, come to, will sometimes come to us or other organisations and, and say that they're home, that they have nowhere to stay. For us again, it will depend on how much money we have at the time and whether we can actually pay for um, for emergency uh, guest house accommodation. But that will really be on a case to case basis, and um, a priority are our families and 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 women. So. Um, UNHCR in the past sometimes can, can provide monies for accommodation also, but it will really be a case by case. There's no there's no one policy for Hong Kong, and certainly the government um, are not providing monies um, to to uh, I know blanket monies to up to all of those who present homeless. And um, ISS, if they can, on occasion again, will look to 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 access accommodation for families and and single single females and unaccompanied minors. So these these will be our priority, but that's um, there's no one there's no one um, there's no one sort of blanket po policy or monies available that that will meet that need.